So I'm sick. I'm as sick as a dog. I'm living off lemon and honey concoctions, drowning in olive oil. My temperature is higher than it should be, and all the goo is coming out of my nose. So stop me if this is, you know, TMI, but it was green and then it was yellow. And as soon as I saw the color change, I wanted to know why. Like, why is it yellow? Because everyone knows why it's not as green, right? It's dead right blood cells and bacteria, right? Wrong, 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 so wrong, so wrong. So I've been fighting my sickness with decongestants and hot tea, but my immune system has been fighting with neutrophils, the body's most common type of immune system cell and the first line of defense against infection. So white blood cells have congregated in my nasal mucus, Blah. but that's not why it's green. So what has been going on is that the neutrophils release enzymes and the most common enzyme that neutrophils release when you have the flu or a cold is myeloperoxidase. And myeloperoxidase is also in a group known as reactive oxygen species, which are chemically reactive chemical species which contain oxygen. So reactive oxygen species are generally induced as an antimicrobial defense in humans. So this release of myeloperoxidase is also known as a respiratory burst or an oxidative burst. But why is it green? Well, myeloperoxidase has a lot of iron in it, and it's the compounds of this iron which are present in various oxidation states that give the mucus a green color. And mucus production when you're not sick is also super important. Mucus is produced by mucus secreting cells called goblet cells. These cells that line the respiratory and intestinal tracts accomplish this by secreting mucins, which are large glycoproteins formed mostly by carbohydrates. And the mucus that is produced has a really important gross job that is to keep us as healthy as possible by trapping invaders during inhalation, so it's our very own air filter. But unfortunately, mucus can also be the enemy in conditions like cystic fibrosis, where a buildup of really thick, sticky mucus in the lungs, digestive system, and other organs can cause a wide range of not very nice symptoms that can affect the entire body. So with all of that in mind, if you are currently stuck at home because you've gotten a winter flu just like me, and you're sat there twiddling your thumbs, not knowing what to do, Brilliant have just created a new feature called Daily Problems, which helps to make learning a daily habit, which is something that you may have already thought of when making your New Year's resolutions. So every day they publish several problems that provide a quick and fascinating view into math, logic, science, engineering, or computer science. Each problem gives you the information that you need to tackle it so that you learn the concepts by applying them. So if that sounds like a fun way to make learning a daily habit in 2019, you should go to brilliant.org forward slash science with Katie and finish your day a little smarter. And the first 200 of you to do so will get 20% off the annual subscription to view all problems in the archives. And that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. And a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon. And thank you for watching. Bye.